Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Gala is certainly in the focus today due to the management disputes. We talked about these in the earlier video today. Yeah, looking at the chart, I can tell you that this chart is, but I've been talking about that for a while now, um, is certainly in a little bit of trouble. Now, situation situation hasn't really changed for, for many, many weeks and, and months really, because the chart so far hasn't really given us any convincing signals that it wants to get back into an uptrend. So the downtrend is still very much ongoing. We've had this descending trend channel on the chart for a while. And also while there was a chance for it to turn around here on the 10th of June, the rally ended in a three wave structure and price could not hold support. So I mentioned it back then to you that at the at best this move up here would be a leading diagonal structure. It's a structure that you can typically not trust. So that was a warning. Now it could have held, but it didn't. And diagonal patterns often enough don't hold in the end because they end up being corrections. Therefore, I always say it when I see a diagonal that you just cannot trust them. They are not impulsive. And these warnings hopefully, ho hopefully have been heard. So anyway, you know, the price is now getting back to nearly December lows. That's obviously going to be significant support down here around the 1. Um, 1.55 cent level. From an Elliott wave point of view, so far we have three waves down. Yeah, I've got three waves down of the all time high in blue, in the blue wave count. The wave four might still be unfolding or is already in and one more low would certainly be expected at this point. The question is just, do we get this low directly? Did the wave four top already here in January? Yeah, and we're coming already down in the wave five. That is certainly a possibility. Or is the wave four happening and then we come down? The question doesn't really need answering right now because right now, the downtrend is still unfolding. So you remember that for weeks, many weeks, we've now been waiting for price to get to that 1.55 cent level. It all started when Gala broke below the 2.03 cent level here on the year, 16th of August, so a couple of weeks, a bit longer. That was the signal that we should get down to 1.55 cents. Until then, I said, you know, you remember that we talked about, okay, maybe here leading diagonal, A wave, B wave, C wave. Uh, communication was we can't trust it though. So it, you know, it, it needs to hold, it needs to prove to us it can hold support. So don't blindly trust it. It broke lower and consolidated. That was the signal it's going to go lower, reacted to resistance, which was at 2.15 cents and is now heading down lower. Now, there is also the potential, of course, that it still turns into a, an, you know, back into a, an uptrend, into a bullish scenario, a third wave rally. This, however, has become much, much less likely. And the long term chart has certainly suffered due to Gala's break below that 2.03 cent level. And I can tell you that if Gala's price breaks below the December or January low, we will have five waves down. And then any rally that will happen afterwards would simply just be viewed as corrective. Even already now I would do that because it simply dropped too low. We're always watching the 78.6 retracement that broke anyway. And the next rally, if it starts from here, would be expected to get into this region 5.4 to 7.9 cents, but it would not be a bullish rally. It would likely just be a correction within a larger downtrend. And yeah, surely, again, it can always develop an impulse back to the upside, but it would need to prove itself at this stage. It is certainly the quality of the chart has deteriorated. It's just what it is. So that doesn't mean we wouldn't expect a rally. I think one is actually due and due and overdue now. Well, not overdue. Yeah, it's not overdue. It's due. Why not overdue? Because we, first of all, wanted to see price to come down anyway. Okay, so now if we go to the microstructure, there's no way it's getting interesting. So with the, um, obviously we had here this triangle and then the C wave to the upside, which was a wave four and now the wave five to the downside. Well, looks like the drop today that, that looks really like a third wave. So I'm not gonna put the micro counts on here, but I would not be surprised if we even break below that um, 1.55 cent level, that area that we've been talking about for weeks. 
because yeah you know it's it's very close already anyway and double bottoms rarely hold i mean i'm gonna show you my idea of the micro count i mean the idea would be here a one a two a three should get a four and a five still and that might break below that level and then you know that wouldn't be a problem for a b wave in blue the blue b wave here they can overshoot to the downside the problem is to establish what support would be below that level yeah so it would certainly uh, be difficult I mean, we can work on that if it really gets a lower low below that uh, level, then we can start to assume maybe we're already in the wave five, actually, even though a B wave can overshoot to the downside. And then we can take the length of waves one through three, go to the high. And then we might even be looking at the 38.2 extension next at 1.344 cents. So, I mean, again, that, that's stuff for the future. First of all, we need to be watching, do we see any reaction to the 1.55 to 1.52 cent level? But the focus is on lower and the focus remains on lower until price can break out of this descending price channel. So it's really caught in this correction until we finally see here a break out of this price channel. And again, even then, it's uh, something that is rather uh, bearish and has turned rather bearish. Now, okay, what, what would be, is there any additional short-term resistance level? Now we had this as resistance. This was a phenomenal short trade area for anybody who wanted to use it, a trend reversal area. But now that we've moved down quite a bit, is there any resistance area that we can still put on the chart that would tell us that if price gets back above that level, it at least would be a first and early indication that the trend is changing back to the upside. I typically use the 50% retracement level for that. So that level, let's put that on the chart, and that is a moving resistance level. It will move down with the price, but that's at 1.82 cents. So this would be, if broken, this would be a very first and early indication that the trend is shifting potentially back to the upside, but only a very early signal. Better will be, of course, a break above the descending price channel. That's my update about Gala. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.